Hey, what's up, YouTube? Alright, so today I'm going to make a table saw. A table saw out of a circular saw. So I'm going to take that and make a table saw out of it. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so I got a piece of plywood and it's, I cut it roughly. 26 by 26 so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this line at 13 and I measured the blade it comes out to about seven and a half inches in length so if we were to take and measure it this way you would see it's about seven and a half inches is what we're going to be cutting off Right there. So you're going to take and mark a line, and then you're going to take this one, mark it all the way down. And then, so what I did is I, I put it over a trash can, so that way when I put the circular saw, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the circular saw blade, sit it right on top, you know. I'm going to take a circular saw, sit it right on top with the blade, and just cut my hole using the blade to get this right in the dead center. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut twice just to open the gap so you got a little free play. Maybe even three times just to make sure that the blade spins freely. And then once we do that, I'll show you the rest in a second. All right. So now that you've cut your hole, now you want to get yourself a drill with a drill bit. And you want to drill four holes. One on each corner, or as close as you can get. So, one here, and one there. So what you're looking at is here, here. You want one right here. And one here if you can't get to that one. So, all right, let's do that. Now, make sure you're just drilling them through the metal and not the wood. So, you just want to drill through the metal of the actual saw. So, remove the saw from the wood and drill only through the saw, metal. Don't drill through the wood because we're going to actually drill into the wood to secure the saw to the wood later. So right now, just drill the four holes through the metal of the saw. Alright, what's up YouTube? So, this is what I did. I ended up building a box for the skill saw which i'm going to turn into a table saw and i'm going to put those four screws through the holes i drilled into the metal bracket and then i'm going to flip it over and grind the screw heads off and i'll show you what that looks like in a second all right so Here's the blade sticking up through the hole, the screws. I'm going to cut them off. And then I'm going to use this blade to grind them down flat. So, be right back. Alright, there you go. They're all cut flat. And you got your, you got your little table saw. Now, you're all ready. All right. So, put the guide on. I'm going to be using clamps for it. Put some lines on here. About which way the feed has to go. Put some table legs on. And put markings on the table every couple, well, at least so you can measure with inches or centimeters, however you measure. 
so got it all set up and the way I'm going to keep this on so the way we're going to keep the motor running is we're going to zip tie the we're going to zip tie the trigger down so that keeps the motor going and then like I said before so we're good to go all right guys if you like this video hit the like button subscribe and until next time